All right, boys and girls. So the first step of your MOLA project is to figure out what is your animal or object that you would like to have as your focal point. And so I've decided that I wanna do a butterfly for this example. And so uh, one thing that you could do is look up a butterfly, type in butterfly MOLA or your object and the word MOLA right after it to get a, a good idea for how you might be drawing that. And so I'm just gonna click on one of these because there are just so many different ways that you could make your MOLA look. And so if I look at this one, I want you to notice, I don't know how well you can see that. I want you to notice that it's not a super realistic butterfly. Really none of the animals in the MOLAs are. The main thing that lets us know what these objects or animals are is the outline. And so that's what we're mostly focused on is drawing that outline to allow us to understand what it is that we're drawing. So don't worry about super realistic details on the inside. And you can see that for any of the animals. If you're gonna do a kangaroo or a frog or a bear, the outline of the animal is the most important to understand what it is. Maybe a couple of key characteristics like eyes for a butterfly antenna. And then the rest on the inside is designs. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to sketch what I want my butterfly to look like here on just a small sketch paper.